Every weekend, Book TV brings you 48 hours of history, biography, and public affairs. Here's a quick look at one of our programs. Why are white people called Caucasian? Have any of you asked yourself that? Do you know why? No. And this was when the rush, well, it's still happening. The Russians and the Chechens and Chechnyas and uh, the Caucasus were having tremendous struggles. So why are white Americans called Chechens? Well, I did find the answer. Uh, the answer took me to Germany. Took me to Germany in the 18th century. Now, the idea of race was invented in the 18th century. It doesn't go back to antiquity. There were not white people in antiquity. But since so many people thought that, I thought I should address it. So my book actually starts with the Greeks and the Romans and their commentary on the people who became Europeans. And what the Greeks and the Romans discovered were people who lived in various ways. For the Greeks, they talked about what we call culture. And for the Romans, who warred in various ways because the Romans were imperialists and were very interested in who was a good fighter and who could help and who had to be vanquished. I followed this German idea into the United States via Madame de Stael, who was a French intellectual, and Thomas Carlyle, who was a British intellectual, and Ralph Waldo Emerson. So I spent a long time with Ralph Waldo Emerson, who was the kind of genius of 19th century white race theory. Ralph Waldo Emerson didn't have a great deal to say about black people, but he had a lot to say about white people. Now in the 19th century, the idea prevailed that there were many white races. So there were people who were considered white. No one questioned their whiteness. Very clearly, the Irish were white. Very clearly, people descended from English people or Scottish people were white or German people. But they belonged to different races. They were white, but they belonged to different races. So, for instance, the Irish Catholics were thought to belong to the Celtic race. And people descended from English people were thought to belong to the Saxon race. And the Saxons were better than the Celts. It was not until the middle of the 20th century, which many of us remember vividly, that the idea of one big white race came into being, in which everybody was who was white was the same as everybody else. And it's not an accident that that happened through politics. It happened through the national mobilization of the Great Depression, the Second World War, and the federal policies crafted after the Second World War. So one big white race is an idea based in politics. You don't have to wait for the weekend to watch our programs. Watch online at booktv.org and follow us on Twitter.